Satoru Gojo is currently the strongest character in Jujutsu Kaisen, but his powers are notoriously difficult to grasp without a strong familiarity with the series. There's even been quite a few explanations of Gojo's abilities on the internet that are less than accurate. Thankfully, I've done the research so you don't have to. Let's get one thing straight. Satoru Gojo was destined to be OP from day one. He was the first in a hundred years to possess both the Six Eyes and Limitless Curse technique. While the Six Eyes are still somewhat of a mystery right now, we know it allows the user to see curse energy and read curse techniques. The Six Eyes also give Gojo godlike precision, allowing him to utilize his Limitless Curse technique down to an atomic level. In the Gojo family, the Limitless is inherited naturally, like type 1 diabetes. But only a six eyes user like Gojo can truly master the Limitless. The Limitless uses sorcery to bring the concept of infinity into reality, allowing the user to manipulate and distort space. We're going to be breaking down all the ways we've seen Satoru Gojo use this power and discussing how exactly he does it. There's the infinity, curse technique lapse blue, the curse technique reversal red, hollow technique purple, and the unlimited void. Void. Infinity is the base usage of the Limitless Curse technique. When someone attempts to hit Satru, they instead hit the infinity between them. The infinity, you know, from Achilles and the Tortoise? Gojo says my technique is the convergence of an infinite series. Things that approach me, slow down, and never reach me. Now Gojo is referencing the Achilles paradox here. Basically saying infinity takes the finite amount of space between them and divides it in infinite amount of times. Infinity is simple enough to grasp, but let me do something for my visual learners, cause I'm the cool teacher. Imagine the space between you and Satoru Gojo represented as units on a number line, where Gojo always sits at zero, and between zero and one is the infinity that protects Gojo. Now as you get closer to Gojo, the space between the two of you would eventually drop below one, and then you get to Gojo's infinity. Technically, you'd continue to move closer to zero, but you'd never hit zero due to the infinite amount of fractions between zero and one. Fractions are units that are so infinitesimal they're immeasurable to the human eye. The space between zero and one should be finite, but Gojo's limitless ability divides that infinitely. Next, there's Gojo's curse technique lapse blue, also known as Ao Azure. Gojo uses the limitless to manifest situations that would otherwise be impossible, causing the space around it to violently pull towards the source of said impossibility, which generates the magnetic-like effect we see in blue. In Gojo's words, by amplifying the limitless and negative numbers, impossible situations like having negative one apples are born. In doing that, I can create a magnetic-like effect. Gojo can create these impossibilities because limitless brings infinity and to reality. But what does Gojo mean by amplifying the negative numbers? On the number line representing Gojo's curse technique, the distance between you and Gojo is represented on the positive side, since distance can't be negative. Gojo amplifies the negative numbers of the limitless to create an impossible situation. This forces the surrounding space to fill the gap in reality, causing everything to pull in towards the impossibility, bringing you closer. When Gojo actually targets someone with blue, the violent pull causes their body to implode. But by using massive amounts of curse energy, Gojo can freely guide Blue to hit faster moving targets. This variation is known as Azure Glow, or Blue Glow. When Gojo performs Blue, he amplifies the negative numbers and only uses negative curse energy. But there's a way he taps into the positive to violently repel enemies, and that's Gojo's reverse curse technique, Red. The curse technique reversal is taking your negative curse energy and multiplying it to make positive curse energy. Since the negative times the negative is a positive, positive curse energy does not exist naturally like the negative, and performing a curse technique reversal is way easier said than done. They're so difficult that Gojo, a prodigy and most gifted sorcerer alive, was never able to do it until a fight with Toji Fushiguro brought him to the brink of death. The only sorcerer he knew who had a knack for reverse curse technique was his classmate Shoko who use it for its healing properties. By combining the positive energy from the reversal and flowing it into the natural power of his limitless, Gojo is able to fire red from his fingertips like a gun. Like a ghost gun. Like, like, like a phantom, 
or I don't know, what would you call that? I don't watch anime. Considering how challenging it was for Gojo to master red through curse technique reversal, you can only imagine how difficult it was for Gojo to pull off red glow. There's two more techniques Gojo can perform with Limitless that are even more elaborate than red glow. One of those being hollow technique purple. This is a technique only a few in the Gojo family even heard of. Combining the curse technique lapse blue, which represents the negative, and the reverse curse technique red, which represents the positive, colliding both infinites and imaginary mass rushes forth. This is a technique that cancels everything, like the internet in 2020. <laughs> Both red and blue possess a lot of destructive power. While everything purple touches, it deletes. Like, it's gone. It's pretty much the ultimate one-hit KO. After the fight with Toji, Gojo worked like crazy to train his weaknesses. For starters, Gojo used to have to activate Limitless manually. But once he trained the infinity around him to recognize mass, speed, and shape, it can distinguish a threat from non-harmful contact, allowing certain matter to pass through. This allows Gojo to have Limitless on at all times while burning the minimum amount of energy. Gojo then improved his skills at reverse curse technique. As I mentioned earlier, positive energy has restorative properties. Gojo runs the reverse curse technique at all times, so Limitless doesn't fry his brain like what happened in his fight with Toji. Another ability Gojo developed in that year of training was his long distance teleportation technique. In volume 0, the prequel to Jujutsu Kaisen, we see Gojo drop a magic circle to transport two of his students back to the school. Later on in Gojo's first fight with Jogo, Gojo teleports back to the school and returns to the fight fight with Yuji in hand in a matter of seconds. Not but last least is Gojo's domain expansion, Immeasurable Void, or Unlimited Void in the Viz translation. Like any proper domain, Unlimited Void is an environment created with cursed energy and manifested through a cursed technique. It brings the opponent inside the limitless and inundates them with an endless stream of information overloading their brain. This puts anyone caught in the domain in a catatonic state, but in the void, you can see everything. Like how Hunter Hunter ends. That's all for right now. I thank you very much for watching. Peace. Yeah. I was out of control down that only road with in the fast lane. Find me all on my own and you got involved like you wanna crash me.